Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be working on the SS yet again. As you guys can see, the car is in the air. Now I do have it supported with the lift. Also I put jack stands under the arms. That way it's the most secure that it can be. And you guys might be wondering what we're going to be doing today to the SS. Well, as you guys saw in the previous videos, we moved the windshield washer tank. We installed that transmission cooler. Well, since we're going to have to open up the transmission lines for the transmission cooler install, we might as well open up the back of the transmission and do some modifications there. So today's mod are all GM parts. They're fairly simple and fairly cheap. What we're going to be installing today is on the floor in front of me. As you guys can see, we have a transmission pan, a filter, and a gasket. This is a stock GM transmission pan. It's off a of Chevy Camaro with a 6L80E. It's got a drain plug in it. And uh, this transmission pan is one inch deeper exactly than the factory SS or G8 pan. This pan is approximately three inches and one eighth. I just got under the SS and measured the SS pan. It is only two inches and one eighth deep. This is three inches and eighth. You know, it's about an inch deeper. And the rest of the parts here, this is the stock Camaro Transmission filter, it's part number 2423693. And then since we're taking everything apart, we've got your standard GM transmission gasket. This would be the same gasket between the Camaro and the SS. Again, part number 2424781. And you can buy these kits several ways. You can piece them together yourself. You can buy a kit from Pace. I went with piecing together the kit myself just because it was a little bit cheaper and uh, Amazon Prime had it here in two days. So that's how I ended up purchasing it. You know, there's multiple ways you can buy this. I'll have all the part numbers in the, and links in the description below. So today we're simply going to be draining the transmission, installing these uh, new pan, gasket and filter and go from there. Alright guys, you will see our contraption of a container here. <laughs> What I have here is just your standard 10 quart oil change drain pan. I put a transmission catch can, if that's what you want to call it, transmission catch all. You're supposed to actually put that on top of a uh, oil catch can like that over there, the oil drain dolly. But since we're not doing this up in the air, Figured I would just put it on top of the can and it did help catch a bunch of fluid. Now I did kind of make one mess up when I was prying on the gasket. I mean, I simply just stuck a screwdriver in and very lightly pressed down on it. The back half of the transmission pan like fell. So some did, some transmission fluid did on, get on the floor, but I've already gone ahead and cleaned that up. As you can see, most of it caught in the uh, drip tray. Kind of wish that I had pushed the drip tray further back and put the oil, you know, the transmission fluid catch stuff further forward, but that's all right. So as you guys can see, we got the stock transmission pan off. It's right here, obviously. But uh, so taking this off was actually real easy, guys. All you gotta do is take out the, oh, I don't know, 20 or so bolts. They're all 10 millimeter. They're not torqued down very tight. I just used my uh, Milwaukee 3 8 ratchet. Backed them all off. And uh, just kind of went around the transmission. I ended up leaving one bolt in in the front. I, let, I loosened it probably about, oh, halfway. You know, I didn't pull it all the way out, but I did leave it halfway tight. That way, when you're trying to pry in the transmission, the whole pan doesn't just drop. So what happened was, when I pried from the back a little bit, that bolt held the front up and the back of the transmission came down and all the fluid. Now I had drained the transmission, but honestly guys, the drain only gets out so much of the pan. Like there's a bunch of crevices in here to, for the transmission fluid to stay in. So it really doesn't all get drained out until you actually drop the pan. So a bunch of fluid came out the back, not a ton, but a decent amount, you know, the Drip tray caught most of it, and uh, there you go. So that's removing the stock pan. All right, guys, the next step is to remove the transmission filter. All you gotta do is pull on it, 
Maybe I pulled a little bit too hard. That just splashed on me. That sucks. <laughs> um, quite simply, guys, just pull down on it. And uh, this is going to sound really dumb, but um, I didn't know how to do that. <laughs> so uh, I had to pull up the old uh, YouTubes and uh, find out from another guy. Actually, it was a truck video, but same thing. Uh, these 6L80Es are all the same. And uh, quite simply, just pull down on that filter, and uh, you should be good to go. Now, you gotta put the new filter back in place. Let me clean up first. All right, guys. Now we have the new transmission filter. This is from AC Delco, like I said. This is part number 242-6517. And uh, we should see a height difference in the two. Yeah, okay, I see what I see exactly what they did. So it's almost like they took the old transmission. So this is the stock SS unit, and this is the Camaro unit. And quite simply, it looks like they just cut it, <laughs> they took the Camaro unit and cut off the the end of it. So I don't know if you guys can see that in the camera, but it is like approximately about an inch taller, which is kind of what we said. You know, it seemed to be like about an inch difference. So this should plug right back into place. All right. That's pushed in, but I didn't feel like it was. I don't know if we're expecting a click or anything like that, but. Ah, there you go. Alright, guys, there was definitely. It was definitely probably halfway in, but just with that last little push, it is now all the way in. That kind of concerns me that these are only held in with like gravity if that makes sense like there's not really a a bracket or anything with my atlas and transmission in the duramax it's got a similar filter pickup setup but it also has an external filter as well but with the allison you know they actually sell a billet brace that you bolt the filter basically to the uh, valve body and uh that keeps it in place i kind of wish they uh had that for the 6l8e i look guys i didn't see any uh like internal billet braces available for uh, for these transmissions. There might be, but in my research, I uh, honestly, I didn't see it. So let's go get the new pan and gasket, and uh, we'll get this thing installed. Guys, one more thing before we install the tra new transmission pan. Don't forget to pull the magnet from your old transmission pan. I went ahead and cleaned this off with some brake cleaner. And this quite simply goes inside the pan where this uh, triangular nub is. And now we're ready to put the new transmission pan, the new gasket, all back up into the car. So let's go ahead and get started. This is going to be fun. I'll tell you that. So we've got the new pan. We've got the little rubber nubs that are on the gasket we have those in place we need to put this back into the car but before we should do that we need to clean off this mating surface and uh, to do that i'm just going to use a clean towel go around the whole trans just make sure we get any transmission fluid off that way we ensure a clean install all right all right guys we should be good to go i really want to push this oil i really want to push this whole assembly out of the way but not yet not yet so we've got the Gasket in, oh, the bolt holes are lined up. I think we're just going to go ahead and start in the back and uh, try to find the proper hole. I don't 
there we go. And guys, I'm just gonna tighten this by hand. Get another piece of hardware. So basically what I'm gonna do is put a bolt in each corner. And uh, go from there. So we've got two corners. Let's do one on the back. All right, guys. We've got three bolts in it. I'm gonna. Finish putting all the bolts in by hand, and then we'll show you the torque sequence. All right, guys, just find a diagram off the internet and uh, start torquing it down. You're basically going to end up going in a crisscross pattern. that's gonna be it for the transmission filter and the transmission pan swap you know to the Camaro stuff now you guys may question why did I not swap out the little transmission filter seal honestly guys I've been reading a lot up upon that that can either be really hard or really simple since my car only has 15,000 miles on it it snapped right in it didn't have any issues and uh, the filter wasn't wiggling at all so with my car being such low miles, you know, I'll keep that seal if I need it to use it in the next time. But for this install, you know, we should be good. And I read multiple people saying like, yeah, you know, you could swap it out. You don't have to, you can. So it's probably 50-50. If this was a car with 100,000 miles on it, sure. Yeah, I'd go ahead and replace it. But like I said, it only has 15,000 miles on it. And honestly, guys, the transmission fluid is still red, like brand new red. It hasn't even like change brown you know not by brown but you know it hasn't aged if that makes sense so with the driveline being so new you know the only thing we've done to it is the lsa on it and the set of headers you know i'm not super worried about the transmission and uh so we should be fine there if we have any issues obviously we'll you know buy a new filter new seal all that put that in now normally next you would go ahead and fill the transmission and you know warm the car up 
put enough fluid in to where you know the tr the car gets up to temperature, the, the transmission gets up to temp, and it starts flowing the, the fluid properly. But we've got a couple more projects before we can get to that, so we'll include that in a later video. So that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. Also, if you want to know when I upload new content, hit that bell notification button down below. Thanks, guys. Have a great one. Yeah.